Alright guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. Never know what to say. Do I call it a tutorial or video? Who knows? But welcome back and in this video what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to make a user interface entirely in Java. Now if you didn't watch my last video I gave a quick explanation right at the end, but basically whenever you use that designer it's really good for making static or just user interfaces that don't change a lot but whenever you have something like a game or any interface where things are moving around it's useful to create your objects in Java so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that so close out of any project you have hit file close and then you can start a new one I'm just gonna name this like uh... let's name it Allison because I have a crush on this girl named Allison let me center this and all of this stuff looks good. You can actually name it anything you want. And of course, we're making it for the phone. And choose blank activity right here. And hit next. Now, this is our right. So pretty much just uh, give it a name and keep all the defaults. Now, once everything is done setting up, what you can do is you can actually hop right over to your Java file. And actually, we aren't going to be using this XML file at all. So, again, like I said... Let me expand this a little bit. So the first thing that your app is essentially going to do is it's going to look at this class right here and it's going to say, okay, what layout do you want to use? And right now, in this line right here, the content view pretty much tells your app, this is the layout, this is the user interface. And right now it's pointing to activity main, which is this. We know all that already. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and delete that and I actually want to show my line numbers. So it's on line 14. So delete that. So now we have this class, but it has no interface whatsoever. The user has nothing to look at. So actually, I do want to hop over in this XML file because even though we aren't going to be using it, I do want to show you guys how we need to set up our interface. So this is our main device. We can't really do anything with the screen. Now, all right, let me adjust myself because get ready to explain. All right. So the very first thing we need for user interface is a layout. Now a layout is just your general rules telling how everything, how all of your widgets are supposed to be positioned and aligned and everything. Now once we have a layout we can start adding widgets to it. Alright so first let's go ahead and make a layout and then add some widgets to it. Now in order to actually use these classes we need to import something. So import android.widget is the first one and again the first thing is relative layout and there are different types of layouts for example we're going to be using relative that's what we're used to working with so far but they also have um, table layouts grid layouts again um, relative layout is kind of hard to understand at first because whenever you're laying out your widgets they're all going to be position relative to something else so for example the first example we'll do we'll say make a button and position it relative to the middle of your screen so it's kinda hard to explain it's a lot easier to visualize a table or a grid but once you start coding um, you'll see what relative really means pretty much position whatever you have relative to something else so the next thing we need to do is import android.widget.button so again in this really simple example I'm just gonna have a layout and then I'm gonna put a button in the middle of the screen so now that you have both of those imported let me tighten this up so you guys can see it a bit what we want to do is we want to stick all of the code to create the layout inside the on create method so remember that code that we deleted was right in here and remember, whenever your activity first gets called, first gets created, this is the very first thing it does. So it's always a good idea to make your layout inside this method. So hop right under this statement right here. And actually, let me give myself some space. Now, the first thing I want to do is just make a relative layout object. So relative layout, that's what we just imported. And I'm just going to name my layout. You can name it anything you want. I'm just going to name mine Bucky's. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good name. Bucky's layout. That'll be easy to remember. And what you do is you set this equal to new relative layout. This. So now we have a layout. Essentially, what we did is we created this right here. 
but now it has a cool name and we can do some cool stuff to it so after this I'm gonna create a widget and I'm just gonna create a button so button I'll, uh, I'll make this a red button so red button again you can name yours anything you want and moo new button this so now we have a layout and a button but that's it we created them and they're in memory but we didn't do anything to it we didn't even tell it to actually display these things on the screen yet so the first thing that we want to do is we actually want to add a widget or pretty much add this button to the layout because right now like I said these are two separate things and that's it so in order to do that take your layout and anytime you want to add a widget to it the method is called add view now it's called add view instead of add widget because all of these things they inherit from the view cat the view class that's why you see sometimes like plain text view and image view all of the widgets are also views so add view just think of it like add a widget to your layout so what widget do you want to add? Well, we only have one so far, the red button. Now after this, again, what we did is we created a layout and we created a button and then we took that button and we added it to the view, or excuse me, well, technically we did, but we added it to the layout. Now all we have to say is, okay, now take that layout and actually use it for this activity's main user interface or main display. So anytime you want to do that, you actually call a method called set content view. And all this is saying is, okay, what do you want this activity's main interface to be? Well, obviously we only have one thing we can stick in there, layout. So it's going to make this the main screen. And of course, since we added a button to it, that button is also going to display. So now... I actually probably should have started my emulator before, but I'm going to start up my emulator and run this bad boy. Alright, so there you have it. I know this is kind of hard to look at right now because the background is kind of light gray and the button is kind of like normal gray. So in the next tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to um, actually add some properties to this to give it some color and add some text to the button as well. And also what I did is I added some comments in the source code while my emulator was starting. And another thing that I want to mention is if you guys want any of the source code either from this tutorial or in the future tutorials, at the end of every tutorial I copy all of this and post it in my forum. So if you just want to, I don't know, like sit back and watch the tutorial. Some people like coding along, some people like watching the tutorials and then just using the source code. You can do that as well. But anyways, all of this is going to be in my forum for you guys so uh, thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and in the next video we're going to be making this look a lot better alrighty guys so in the last video what we did is we created the most boring interface on earth gray with a gray button that says nothing on the button so let's go ahead and spice this up by adding some color and actually adding some text to the button so anytime we want to work with color we actually need to import Android dot graphics dot color. So now we have the ability to use color. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So the first thing I want to do is actually just change the color of my layout or the background. So adding properties is actually really easy. Choose whatever you want to add a property to. In well, the properties are different, but I know that this one is set background color. Now, since we imported from this graphics library what we can do is call color dot and it gives you a bunch of default ones but uh i don't know what's a good one green will probably stand out although i think that this green is like lime like very bright green so it'll definitely uh stand out in the thumbnail so i guess that's good now we have a gray or excuse me a green background in that gray button so i actually want to change this to red since we did name it red button it would only be fair now before I do that, I actually want to set the text. So of course, whenever we use the set text method, it's just going to add text to the button. And what do I want to set it to? And stupid working. All right, I'll just write it like click me pass. 
All right, looks good. Actually, I don't want that mark. It looks a little too much if you ask me. So now, of course, we need to set the background color of this to red. So red button, set background color and color red. All right, so now our background is green and our button is now red and it says click me Haas on it. So let's go ahead and run that and test it out. All right, so there we have it looking pretty good. And for some reason, this is reminding me of a Ninja Turtle right now, Raphael. Okay, so I kind of am digging this green color with the red. But anyways, the next thing I want to do is I want to show you guys how to take this button and position it in the middle of the screen right there. So right after your layout and right before your button, give yourself some space. Ah, oh, there we go. I ate a Hot Pocket like two hours ago and every time I burp it smells like a hot pocket so you know I'm sure you guys are interested in that but essentially what we're gonna do with this button if I could pull this back up is we need to give it some rules and the rules are gonna say okay position yourself in the center of the screen both horizontally and vertically so it's gonna appear right here so the first thing we're actually gonna do is we're gonna make a container to put it in and then we're gonna pretty much take that container and position it in the middle. You guys are going to see in just a second. So if you actually call this relative layout dot layout params, these layout parameters are just rules for something you want your layout to do. So since these are going to be applied to the button, I'm just going to name these like button details and set this equal to relative layout layout params. Now inside here, what you need to pass in is the height and the width for this container. So what we can actually do is take relative layout, the layout params, and we're going to call a property called wrap content. Now what this does is it automatically gets um, the height and the width of your content. So let me just finish this real quick and then it'll be easier to see what's going on. So again, since we need to pass it in the height and the width, and actually this is giving me an error because of course since we're setting this equal to an object we have to call new all right so we're passing in the height and the width so what we're gonna say is just get whatever content is in your container it's only gonna be this button we're gonna be sticking in there and then get the height and the width automatically so we don't need to pass in like a fixed value or anything it's really easy that way so now what we want to do is we want to say okay take this and position it in the center of your screen so now that you got everything set up you can position it wherever you want it and in order to do that just take that object button details and the rule for it again this is pretty much a rule of how you're going to position it is relative layout dot center horizontal and we're going to add another one to center vertically and then center vertical and then of course that's going to take it and put it in the dead center now in order to actually apply these rules to your button what you need to do is whenever you add your view right now this is just adding the button wherever it um, you know goes by default however if we want to give it an explicit position we just pass in button details and it says okay this adds the button to the layout and this right here is saying how you want to add it so pretty sweet let's run this and make sure we didn't mess anything up alright looking good so in this video now you guys know how to add color how to set some properties for your widgets and also how to position them at least vertically and horizontally on the screen so in the upcoming tutorials I'm gonna show you guys how to have a lot more control and how to create some more awesome layouts it's gonna be awesome again if you want the source code for any of this it's gonna be on my forum so uh, yeah I'll see you next time